All right, uh, let's look at the homework three, problem number 10. All right, uh, how many years will it take uh, $1,000 to grow to $2,000 if it is invested at the 5.5% compounded continuously? All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, we have a continuous compound uh, interest formula, which is uh, A of T is equal to P e to the R T. All right, so let's identify each uh, given value. All right, so first one, uh, you can see that uh, here, $1,000. So here's $1,000. So this is the uh, initial investment, so this is P, right? And grow to $2,000. So this is going to be the uh, amount after T years. So this is going to be our uh, A of T, right? It is invested at the 5.5%. So this tells you that uh, our R value would be, so since it's percent, so you have to divide by 100. So it's going to be a 0 0.055. And uh, since it's continuous, con uh, uh, continuously, so we have to use this formula, all right? So let's uh, plug all these numbers in. So uh, A of T is 2,000 uh, is equal to uh, initial investment is uh, 1,000. Then we have uh, E to the R is 0 0.055. And T is the one we are looking for, so T is unknown. All right, so let's solve this equation. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this 1,000. So we can simply divide through by 1,000. So 2,000 divided by 1,000 is 2. Then 1,000 cancel out. So you have uh, E to the uh, 0.055T. All right. Now we have to get rid of E. So easiest way would be uh, take the natural log of both sides. So you have a natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of E to the 0.055t. All right. But remember that uh, if you have um, uh, you know, a power here, by the property, uh, we can place it right in front. All right. So uh, actually, it's a, there's a better property, right? We can use the inverse property. When you um, compose log function and exponential function of the same base, they basically cancel out each other, right? So we have uh, 0 0.055t, right? And what we're looking for is t, so we need to get rid of 0 0.055. So we can just simply divide through by 0 0.055. So we're going to have a natural log of 2 over 0 0.055. So that's going to be our value uh, for t, right? So let's uh, find this value. So I'm going to just bring out a calculator, right? So we have a natural log of uh, 2. And then we want to divide it by uh, uh, 0 0.055, right? Then I hit enter, all right? So we got the 12.60 uh, uh, and so on. I forgot the, uh, let's see. Uh, we want the round, uh, round it to two decimal places. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 12.60. So six zero, All right? So uh, let's uh, check the answer. All right, got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.